let us now begin with the next tool the last tool in your modify toolbar that is the chamfer option i'm going to select the chamfer option and before selecting let us draw the lines which need to be chamfered i'm drawing one line over here and one more line in this way now when you want to chamfer this i'll select the chamfer option and specify the distances over here distance 1 is set to 5 let us reduce it to 3 enter and distance 2 again let us keep it to 3 after which you need select first chamfer segment that is this one and the next chamfer segment select this in this way we will be creating the chamfer automatically the other two sides will be trimmed off in your chamfer option i'll go with undo suppose over here instead of these two lines you have rectangles I have a rectangle in this way and this rectangle I'm going to chamfer the vertices of the rectangle select the chamfer option distance I'm increasing it to 5 5 and select this line select this line chamfer is created over there this way this way. in this way we will be creating chamfer between two lines all right so this completes our modified toolbar let me delete this now after having seen your linear elements option your place blocks option polygons circles dimensioning modify and manipulate after seeing all these toolbars now let us go with an example in this session we'll try to so we'll try to create this drawing over here now in order to create this first we'll start off with these two circles the first circle and the second circle the first has 55 dia second has 90 dia over here select the circle option method is center solid none diameter is 55 enter and now this circle I can place it anywhere wherever I want I can place it over here what I'll do is I'll place it somewhere over here in this way now again I'll select the same center point and this time I'll go with the diameter of 90 the second option over here was 90 diameter now after having drawn these two circles let us come out of the command and now I'm going to use the normal smart line option and convert this into an axis in this way draw it over here from here to here right now after having created this we are next i have created the horizontal axis line after which we'll offset this line on the top at a distance of 4. The total distance over here is given as 8, so we'll offset it 4 on the top, 4 at the bottom. Select this option over here, move parallel. The distance has to be 4 and make copy option. Select this line and place it over here and at the bottom as well. In this way. Alright convert these two lines press down my control button and over here select by level all right now what we need to do is we need to trim off the extra portions over here these lines are extending beyond the circle and over here these lines are still present so what i'll be doing is i'll be trimming it off using those two circles and the trim option over here select this I'm holding on down my control button and the other circle as well after selecting both of them then go with your trim option and select this line select this line zoom in over here trim this and this as well then you can go with right click after left clicking in order to accept it then you can go with right click 
what we'll be doing is we'll delete off these lines since we don't require them. Instead of having those lines, instead we'll be using the array option. The array option can be used to create these the other five instances. Totally there are six instances of the slot over here. You can create one and use the array, polar array option since it's about the circumference of a circle. Use the polar array and create five more instances of these two lines. I have the array option, select polar and over here number of items is six. The angle between each of them will be 60 degrees and we need to rotate the lines as well. Select rotate option. After that, click a point in the center of this, these two lines and then the center of the circle about which you want to rotate it in this way. Left click and you have created the instances, all those six slots. All right. After the creation of these two, next comes the turn off the circle over here. Circle, another circle over here. So in order to draw this, we know that the line from here to here is at an angle of 30 degrees from the vertical. That means with respect to the horizontal from here, it will be at an angle of 60 degrees, right? Total is 90 between the horizontal and vertical. This is 30. So 90 minus 30, this value from here to here to the horizontal will be 60 degrees. Okay. So 60 degrees is the angle and the distance from here to here, that is from the center of these two circles, this point to this point. The center of these two circles is given as 60 units along the length of a 60 degree line. That means I'll select the line option, select the center point and then draw a line. This line, I'm not going to specify it using the X and Y method, but instead I'll hit my space button and we have the distance and angle method. The distance I'm going to specify as 60 units and the angle as well is 60 degrees and left click. That is the line we get, which is at an inclination of 60 degrees to the horizontal. To the vertical it is 30 degrees and to the horizontal it is 60 degrees. And the length of the line is 60 units as given in the figure. Okay. Now I'll take my circle option. This inner circle has a radius value of 10. Dia is 20. So the radius will be 10 on all the four circles which are lying inside. So select the circle option over here, select this as a center point and the diameter is 20 or radius is 10. In this way draw one circle. Again take another circle and this time the radius is 18. Select the radius option over here, go with the 18 value, enter. In this way you have created these two circles. After having created that, next what we are going to do is, we are going to use a mirror option in order to create multiple instances of these objects at specified distances. Alright, after selecting these two circles, then select the mirror option. About the horizontal, I am going to select it and place this point over here. This is the center point. In this way you are placing it, I am sorry, I'll, I did not select the make copy option. Select the make copy option and then click on this point, which will create a copy in this way. I am going to select 1, 2 as well as 3 and 4. This time go with the mirror option again and instead of horizontal, I will click on vertical this time and click on the center point. Then left click in order to accept it. In this way we have created all those instances. After this, now we have to create these arcs over here, here, here or everywhere. So in order to create it, you can use the fillet option over here. The fillet radius over here is 17 R and over here is 14 R. 
select the radius first 17 enter select it between this and this get it over here and then you can either mirror it or you can create it right now itself in this way then go with the value as 14 enter and select it between this two circles between this circle and this between all these circles in this way right after this now we are going to trim it trim it and then dimension it i'll stop the session over here we'll resume this we'll continue it in the next session